for spiritually minded football fans, I offer this morning's brief talk on Michael Vick, uh, newly crowned uh, starter for the Philadelphia Eagles for the rest of the season. It's real exciting to see uh, God redeeming uh, someone, uh, no matter what you think of Michael Vick or where he's at as a believer, not necessarily as a football fan, we need to be people who can uh, see God as a God of the second chance. Uh, no other football team wanted him, nobody would take him, and uh, when the Eagles took him, everybody laughed at him, at the Eagles, including me. I'm sorry to say, here are the Eagles uh, so desperate for uh, something to help them that they, they even give Michael Vick a chance. But after that news conference last night, something completely changed for me. And I began to realize that as a believer, it is awesome that Michael Vick has a second chance. You know, certainly he had the problems with uh, the dog fighting, but he went to prison, he admitted it, he served his time, he came out of prison uh, working with uh, SBCA and the organizations uh, to uh, promote proper care of dogs. And, uh, you know, we, we serve a God of a second chance, and it is just like God to uh, put a real troublemaker, a guy who got in an incredible amount of trouble, uh, and put him in a position where uh, he could lead the Eagles uh, even as far as the playoffs, maybe even the Super Bowl. And for me, that's exciting because I serve a God of a second chance. And uh, maybe you are the kind of person that is so spiritual and so correct that you can judge me and you can judge others uh, because you never needed a second chance. But I probably needed uh, 200, 300 chances to redeem myself over the years. And uh, so to see this happening with Michael Vick and the Philadelphia Eagles is awesome. Uh, don't tell anybody, but uh, I might even root for the Philadelphia Eagles this year.